Hello, my name is Sean, and today I'm going to show you uh, how to use Google Docs. Uh, before I start going into the actual program, I'm going to tell you what it is. Google Docs is very similar to Microsoft Word, and uh, I would say even the workplace, the environment, and how you actually work with it is very, very similar to Microsoft Word. The only difference is that in Microsoft Word, you have to save your file somewhere maybe in your computer or laptop and then you have to send that file uh, in, in your USB drive or an email that uh, sometimes it's a hassle to work with that another uh, thing that you have to be always aware is that if you send a file to someone through email or Google uh, or Facebook that file is going to be sent to them and it's not going to change forever meaning if you type something wrong or if you want to change something in your file there's no way you can do that. The only way to do that is to update the file and send the file again to them. Now, there's a lot of advantages of using Google Docs over Microsoft Word. Now, let's go ahead and look at it. So, first of all, we need to see how we can reach this file. So, I'm going to type docs.google.com. So, this will bring me to this page. After you come to this page, you have to sign into your account if you have an account you sign in if you don't you make one uh, it's very straightforward so now I am in my account as you can see I have a lot of files that I have already created here uh, but for this tutorial I'm going to go ahead and click on blank and create a new page before I do that I'm going to look at the templates available templates that uh, Google Docs give it to you and maybe this gives us a clue what this program can be used for so it could be used for class notes it could be used for essay report and there's so many other templates that you can use I'm going to still click on blank and create a report as you can see the environment is very similar to uh, Microsoft Word you give it a name here uh, let's call this test and uh, it's very simple uh, I mean the environment just just like Word you type um, this is the tool for typing things so it's a letter it's an essay it's an email whatever it is you type it you can format it you can have some tools you can have word count you can have spelling you can have voice typing uh, every advanced feature that Microsoft Word or any other typing uh, program will have you can find it here as well. You can manage your uh, columns, you can manage your tables, you can uh, have some pictures, links, equations, drawing charts, anything you want, anything you can think of, there's here. And uh, there's some uh, most common used buttons that are available here as well. Maybe the benefit or the most important part of uh, Google Docs is the share button here. Now, I'm going to focus on that. And I'm sure that with spending a little time over these features, you can you can master it and you can type uh, anything you want, and you can create the amazing uh, Google documents. Uh, but here in share is technically how you send this file to other people. There are a few options. You can send this file directly to someone. You can save it on your Google Drive and send the file to them, or you can just share this through a link. So I'm going to go ahead and click on share and see what happens. This page comes and it tells you that who you want to share this file with. So as I mentioned before, you don't actually have to save it, save the file anywhere. You just share this. Uh, you can share it to someone and you let, can let them only view the file. You can share it to someone and you can only let them comment on it. Or you can share this file and make them edit them. This is an amazing feature that Google Docs have. Now you can share this file with someone and that person can have some edit, maybe even add some text to it, and you will see that changes right away, live. And this is going to be amazing. Or you can just turn off. And if you turn this off, uh, technically you will be given a link, and whoever has this link can access this phone. Um, you can also send email to people to let them know about this link, and that's pretty much. I, I guess as long as you have this link to this file, then you are pretty much set to go. Uh, you can send it this link in any way you want. Technically, you can email it, Facebook it, or just tell people to write it down, and they will access this file. And uh, this part is the restriction that allows you to control your audience that you want them to only comment, edit, or you can only set it as view. There's some more options uh, you can explore and you can play with. 
Um, after that's done, you technically have the link for it. This link is going to be saved in your account forever. And you don't have to worry about losing these files. You don't have to worry about your, uh, I don't know, laptop uh, uh, crashes or your file being missed. This file, whatever change you do live, it will be saved here and it will stay here forever. And you can share it with other people. There are some other features uh, that uh, help you organize your file a lot that I'm sure you guys will uh, figure out and um, do a good, great job to create Google Documents. If there's any questions, uh, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. If not, I use Google Documents in my classroom. Uh, to manage my classroom, I use it for a uh, course outline, I use it for lab manuals. If you want to check out how I manage my uh, classroom using Google uh, Documents, please uh, click on the link and I will show it to you. Thank you very much. See you next time.